Imagine you are on a cruise holiday and the ship announces that the next stop will be Prague in the Czech Republic. Impossible, you will say, since there is no sea in Prague, but in a few years it may be possible, precisely because the Czech Republic, a nation in the heart of Europe, has a plan to connect the major European river. This ambitious project aims to unite the Danube, Elbe, and Oder rivers, creating a powerful network that could transform European commerce and geopolitics. Stick around as we dive into this fascinating plan, which some compare to the game-changing Suez Canal, while others see it as an extravagant folly. Imagine the Czech Republic not just as a landlocked country without any access to the sea, but as the linchpin of European waterways. By linking these rivers, the plan promises seamless navigation from the Black Sea to the Baltic Sea and the North Sea. This could revolutionize trade across Europe, offering uninterrupted water transport from one end of the continent to the other. The scale of the project is astounding, but it's more than just a physical connection of rivers. It's about merging geoeconomics and geopolitics, bridging diverse landscapes, cultures, and histories, all while aiming for a sustainable future. Unifying the rivers of Central Europe may seem like a crazy and revolutionary idea, but it is not a new idea. It dates back to the 14th century when Emperor Charles IV of the Holy Roman Empire envisioned a waterway connecting the Oder to the Danube. Despite his grand vision, the project was shelved due to technological and resource limitations. Over the centuries, various monarchs tried to revive the idea, but it remained just that, an idea. Fast forward to the 19th century, during Europe's Industrial Revolution, the concept gained traction again. The successful construction of the Suez Canal in Egypt, which connected the Mediterranean to the Red Sea, inspired similar ambitious projects worldwide, including the first attempts to build the Panama Canal. However, political changes and technological advances repeatedly altered the canal project plans in Central Europe. The allure of connecting Europe's rivers remained strong with each era's vision adjusting to new geopolitical realities and technological capabilities. In modern times, particularly after the collapse of the Iron Curtain and the Soviet Union, Europe enjoyed a period of peace and reconsideration of many economic, environmental, and political concepts. In 1993, the peaceful split of Czechoslovakia into the Czech Republic and Slovakia coincided with the establishment of the European Union. The Czech Republic joined the EU in 2004 but faced a unique disadvantage. It was the only EU country not directly connected to the open seas or major navigable waterways. Despite having navigable rivers, the Czech Republic's terrain of rolling hills and mountains limits the size and navigability of these waterways. Consequently, transportation costs make up a significant portion of imported goods prices, putting Prague at a disadvantage compared to other EU countries. In 2016, Czech President Miloš Zeman reignited the canal project, proposing not just one but two canals to connect the Danube, Oder, and Elba in a U-shape across the country. The project's first phase, estimated to cost 24.4 billion euros, aims to geoengineer canals linking the Danube, Oder, and Elbe rivers. Each of these rivers plays a crucial role in regional trade and transport. The Danube, Europe's second longest river, flows from Germany's Black Forest to the Black Sea, passing through several countries and serving as a major trade route. The Oder runs from the Czech Republic to the Baltic Sea, marking part of the Polish-German border and supporting regional trade. The Elbe starts in the Czech Republic and flows to the North Sea, vital for economic activities in Germany. Joining these rivers would merge the economic activities of multiple countries, creating a unified network for trade and commerce. For the Czech Republic, this means direct connections to major European ports in Germany, Poland, and Romania, significantly reducing transportation costs and enhancing its role in regional and international logistics. The ripple effects of the canal project could boost the national GDP, streamline trade, and even spur economic diversification in sectors like tourism, logistics, and manufacturing. However, a project of this magnitude involves more than just construction. Due to the international nature of water bodies, the Czech government had to negotiate within the larger European framework, gaining consensus from other countries. 
Poland and Slovakia joined the Czech Republic in the first stage, aiming to create a navigable waterway from the Danube to Ostrava near the Polish border. This would link the Danube to the Baltic Sea, requiring a 40-meter wide canal capable of handling vessels with a 5-meter draft, alongside new bridges, lock chambers, and a port in Shanov. Despite initial enthusiasm, the COVID-19 pandemic and subsequent inflation created unforeseen challenges, delaying progress. The project's cost estimates, initially at 24.4 billion euros, likely increased, and securing funding through public and private investments, international grants, and EU funds became more difficult. Critics argue that the canal project is unnecessary, pointing to Germany's Rhine-Main-Danube Canal as an example. While initially successful, the canal's usage dropped dramatically post-1990s as Germany shifted its economy towards services and high-value manufacturing. Critics suggest the Czech Republic should focus on economic modernization through smart connectivity and innovation rather than an artificial canal. Environmental concerns also pose significant hurdles. The ecological impact of such a large-scale project could harm local wildlife, plant life, and natural habitats. Environmentalists warn of potential irreversible damage, including more frequent and severe droughts and increased flood risks. Compliance with EU environmental and nature conservation directives is crucial, and any violation could result in fines and legal challenges. Yet, the potential benefits of the canal project are hard to ignore. If successfully completed, it would enhance the Czech Republic's strategic importance in Europe. It would provide a direct waterway link to three major seas, facilitating the movement of goods and boosting the efficiency of supply chains. This could make Prague a significant logistics hub, attracting businesses and investments. Moreover, the project could create numerous jobs during its construction and operation phases, contributing to economic growth and regional development. The canal could also promote tourism by making the Czech Republic more accessible by water. Tourists could enjoy scenic river cruises that connect to broader European routes, enhancing the country's appeal as a travel destination. Additionally, the improved waterways could support recreational activities, fostering a vibrant community life along the riverbanks. On the geopolitical front, the canal project could strengthen the Czech Republic's position within the EU. By spearheading such a transformative initiative, the country could gain more influence in European decision-making processes. The collaboration required for this project could also foster stronger ties with neighboring countries, promoting regional stability and cooperation. However, the project's success hinges on careful planning and execution. The environmental concerns must be addressed with robust mitigation strategies to minimize the impact on ecosystems. This includes designing the canal in a way that preserves natural habitats, implementing measures to prevent pollution, and ensuring sustainable water management practices. Engaging with local communities and stakeholders is crucial to garnering support and addressing any concerns they may have. Financially, the project requires a well-structured funding strategy. This could involve a mix of public and private investments, leveraging EU funds, and exploring international grants. Transparent and accountable management of funds is essential to avoid cost overruns and ensure the project's financial viability. Technologically, the canal project demands advanced engineering solutions. Modern technology can help overcome the geographical challenges posed by the Czech Republic's terrain. This includes using cutting-edge construction techniques, innovative materials, and smart infrastructure systems that enhance the canal's efficiency and resilience. Despite the hurdles, the vision of connecting Europe's major rivers remains a powerful idea. It embodies the spirit of innovation and progress, aiming to create a more interconnected and prosperous Europe. The Czech Republic's canal project is a testament to human ingenuity and the enduring quest to overcome geographical limitations. For now, all this remains just a dream. Who knows if one day we might see this work realized? Let me know what you think in the comments. And above all, if you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you can see similar videos in the future.